Well, guys, thank you so much for clicking on this channel and watching this video. Now, guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I'm working to get to a thousand subscribers before uh, the end of uh, this year. So just go ahead and support your boy. So today I'm going to be teaching you a very interesting uh, topic. And this is how to save uh, your Git, I mean, your project folder okay inside uh your github how to push your project folder inside the github so we're gonna you will be using a uh, terminal okay we're gonna be using uh, uh our terminal okay and uh for this one i just want you to go ahead and install a uh, git bash okay that's the terminal that i use uh i'm gonna be using in this project okay so the first thing that you need to do is you need to create um a repository and for you to do that there is a green button up there. Just click on it. It's uh, it's written new. Just click on it and then type the name of the repository that you want. Okay. So in this case, we're gonna type um, like back end and front end because uh, I have a back end and I also have a front end project. Okay. So I'm gonna push the whole folder inside uh, GitHub. Okay. So just go ahead and do that. So in public, just leave it public so that probably if you want the rest. If you want people to see your project, so just click on public. I uh, don't mind a lot about README at the moment, okay? So then click on create. So once you do that, it's going to take you to this page where we have quick setup and we will use terminal to our terminal to write all these commands. So let's go, let's dive in into like a git, uh, git bash, okay? So I'm going to go straight to my git bash, you know? So the first thing that I'm going to do is open the, uh, my terminal then and then I'm going to navigate to the directory where uh, my git repository is located. You can use the cd command to change the directories, okay? And to view all the files and directories in the current directory, we use a command uh, called ls. So ls will like uh list everything that is inside uh, the folder then after that you will have to like CD inside your folder project okay and for my folder project the name is Facebook so I'm gonna CD inside Facebook and this is where my project is so I'm gonna click enter and then I'm gonna type LS and LS will show everything that is inside that folder then so then the next thing you have to do is type cat.ignore command. This is going to list all the documents, actually, all, all the folders that are supposed to be ignored when you're pushing your project into GitHub. But uh, I think I typed the wrong thing. So it's supposed to be cat.gitignore. Okay, then click enter. And at the moment, we don't really have any file that we are ignoring so no such file or directory okay and to view all the files including hidden files uh and directories we use a command uh, called ls uh, dash a command now these steps helps to identify the files and directories you want to ignore okay so you can use vi dot git ignore command to open the files in vi text editor if you prefer a different text editor you can use that as well okay so in vi you just need to follow these steps to like uh, specify the files or directories you want to ignore so the first thing you have to do is just press i Okay, I to insert um, in uh, to, I'm sorry, you just have to press I to enter insert mode. You will see the word insert appear at the bottom of the editor. Okay, so type the name of the file or directories you want to ignore. And uh, each entry should be on a new line. So these are the files. So we have a uh, target. Okay, this is a file, this is a folder that I want to like ignore. Then the next one is gonna be like Staster. Then uh, I have dot uh, ID, uh, sorry, dot idea. Okay, dot ID. Okay, then we also have Staster and then slash dot uh, node uh, modules. 
this is when I uh this is for the front end when you're working with front end, and the last one is tasta.ds store. Okay, so those are the files. Okay, so once you've listed all the items to big not press escape the escape key to exit insert. Then I want you to type like column W Q to save the changes and exit uh, your VI. Okay. This command stands for write and quit the W and Q. Okay. So after saving the git ignore file, you can verify its content by using a uh, uh, cat dot git ignore command. So this command will list all the files and directories that are specified uh, to be ignored in your Git repository. So the next step that we need to do is just use this information from GitHub to push uh, our folder inside GitHub. So the first command that we need to check is called echo. You can copy and paste it here on your terminal. So for me, I'm just going to go ahead and edit front end and back end. This is the name of the repository. So it depends if you really want to do that. But for me, I just need to edit this name and then I'm going to type to do because I'm going to use this later on. I'm going to write some stuff here, but you, for you, you can just go ahead and leave it as the way it is. Okay. The name of your repository. So the next thing I'm going to type is git init. So git init will initialize empty git repository. Okay. And to see if you have initialized, I'm going to type ls dash a, and then this is going to list the git means that you have already initialized an empty repository. So go ahead and type git add then dot. And this one will stage all the files. Okay preparing them for the future commit okay but as you can see we have a warning that says lf will be replaced by crlf the next time git touches it okay so this is a warning and if you see this warning it means that git is alerting you that line ending in the files you are working with are being converted uh, from unix style which is lf to windows style which is crlf line ending now this conversion can occur when you clone a git repository okay or check out branches or perform various git operations okay so this conversion is often necessary very necessary to ensure that text files are displayed and edited correctly in windows environment which expect like crlf line ending however it can be some it can sometimes cause issues if you're working on code that is meant to be used across multiple uh, platforms. Okay. So for me, I'm just going to go ahead and type again. I'm going to type git add then dot, and this will prepare all the files. Then after that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, type git and then uh, status. Okay. So git status to see all the files that have been staged. Okay. So you see all these green files that have been staged for commit. Okay. So after this, the next step I'm going to do is type git, then commit. And then inside this, uh, and then I'm going to type uh, dash M. Then after that, inside these uh, semicolons, I'm going to, it's supposed to be first commit. You can change this name, but for mine, I'm going to type front end and uh, back end. Okay. You can write any name that you want here. So after that, you see that uh, we have created all these files have been committed. Okay. So I'm going to type git, then uh, git, then I'm going to go ahead and type uh, branch. Okay. Then minus M or dash M. And this is going to be like uh, main. Okay. So this one, this command renames uh, the default branch from master to main. And as you can see, we've changed from master to main. It's a good practice to use more e inclusive terminologies in uh, version control. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead to do is just type git. Okay. Remote. Okay. Then add the origin. And then I'm going to type this uh, link here. So all these, you're getting them from uh, uh, from GitHub. Then once you type that, 
this command adds a remote repository named origin with the provided URL, okay? Then after that, the next thing I'm gonna do is just type git push dash u, then origin main, okay? And then this command, actually I typed it the wrong way, so it's supposed to be git push dash origin main, and then this one will push the folder inside our uh, GitHub. It's asking me to sign in, so I have to sign in. So I'm gonna put on, I'm gonna put my password. I'm gonna sign in my password. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna just type my password. So that's it. Oops, sorry. Uh, let me type it one more time. Then I'm gonna click confirm once I'm done. So authentication succeeded. So this means that you have sent all your document, all your folder into GitHub, okay? As you can see, uh, the results, okay? Then after this, uh, let's go straight to GitHub. And then this is the full, this is the, uh, these are the folders here, as you can see, you know? So yeah, everything has been successful, okay? And this is how you push your, uh, your project folder to GitHub, okay? So if you have a question, please go ahead and uh, write your question down there. If you really feel like you you like you like the video, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. You know, uh, leave a comment, like this video, so I can get it can be like um, recommended to so many other people. Okay, so that's your file, and those are your folders. So until next time, see you later.